Hey everybody. Um, I actually had a I got a piece of walnut here, uh, a large piece actually, and my intention was originally to make a box out of it. And then it started cracking a little bit, and I was giving it more time. And then today I decided to start um, working on it. However, I started seeing this grain that's in here and I didn't want just a long round shape for the bottom and then the top being also walnut and for some reason I'm really wanting to take and turn this into a goblet not a beer mug but a nice beautiful goblet uh, probably not you know, definitely not a 12 ounce goblet you know more like a, an 8 10 something like that smaller top up here or smaller cup size like right maybe here just to be able to pull out the accent of all this grain so now that's the intent um literally started turning it started working on a little bit of cracks that were opening up again and then poof uh mine's changed because you can even see even this thing not even remotely smooth the way that this grain pattern is coming out yeah, this is going to be nice. Let's see what happens. All right, since we've got the, uh, I'd say, basic rounding right here, I know that I'm going to need to do a little bit more to clear up this little crack area here. Uh, however, I want to get the inside uh, hollowed out. I don't want to take too much off the stem, and I don't want to do too much up out here. I know the inside diameter that I want I'm probably going to, it's going to be this uh, oh three inch right here this big guy will be my last one going and that'll leave me about uh, let's say about a half inch three quarters of an inch yeah about a half inch actually uh, of playroom for the wall to do some more stuff and I am going to go down to about a year so we'll have you'll be able to hold a, an actual good amount but let's go ahead and get this started I got my mark on my hand one. Oh boy. This is going to be fun. It didn't quite center because it's in grain. It slid on me. These Forstner bits ought to do a little bit better. I got a new Jacobs chuck. The last one uh, ended up wringing it out somehow, and it just wasn't gripping no more. Now the big guy, I'm definitely not going all the way down on. I'll probably just go past the bit itself. Oh, if it'll even fit in the chuck. But yeah, barely. Ugh. Okay, I stopped at the uh, two inch for the outside. The three inch just, something's telling me that I want to stop and I want to bring this wall in to right about here and I don't know we'll, we'll play it as we go Okay, we'll reset to the outside. Right here is where I need to start sloping it in more. 
touch up on this side, really sloping in here. And then right here is where the hole is in the bottom. Let me give myself a little marker there. Right there. And right there. Reset some light. And our glue has not dried. Ah, yep, on the lens too. All right, let's do another take on this. Um, added the, some more glue up here, hit it with the accelerant, and we should be good. It's been probably a good 30, 40, 50 minutes for the stuff that's been down here. So we'll see what happens. Let's give it a shot. All right, I'm going to fix a little bit more. I uh, shall return. It's time for sanding. I'm going to start off in reverse. I'm going to give it a shot with 120 to start with just to see what we're going to have. I may have to drop it to 80. I don't know yet. But we're going to do 120. Probably go up to 600 because I really love this grain. And then I'll throw the uh, sanding paste on it. And we'll go from there. So let's get it going. <laughs> It is time for some denatured alcohol. Let's see what we're going to get. <laughs> I, went, I only went to 320 before I'm doing the denatured alcohol. I want to raise the ends up. And I'm actually going to do an epoxy denatured alcohol mix because I want to be sure that we have a good seal on this and it is protected. More so than just a regular food grade protection, 
because we do have a little that little bit of cracking from earlier I don't want that to continue so I just want to do a little extra just to be on the safe side that's all Make sure that if there's any micro cracks in here, we're going to have them filled up pretty good. All right, so 320 is done. We do have some raised grain, so I'm going to hit it with the four, and then we'll go from there. Where is it at? Four. There we go, 400. Okay, we're back. I've got everything denibbed or knocked off or what have you, what not. It's all cleaned up nice and pretty. I've got the epoxy mixed up with uh, some denatured alcohol. And I got this one, uh, this one from Crocus Creek Woodworks. C-R-O-C-U-S Creek, C-R-E-E-K, Woodworks. Um, he does a lot with this type of epoxy and denatured alcohol to help seal stuff up and what it does is with the denatured alcohol cutting it it goes down into the wood more and I probably still made it too thick it's supposed to be more like a runny uh, or a thicker water is what it's supposed to be and I may have still went a little too thick for it but anyway what it's supposed to do is the denatured alcohol cuts it, thins it out, and the epoxy digs deep down into the wood, and then the denatured alcohol evaporates, and it only leaves that epoxy. And I'm using food grade epoxy, so I'm hoping that'll turn out a little bit better because I want it to be a food safe item and I have a feeling that this is going to look really good when it's done I'm just hoping I didn't do too much or not enough denatured alcohol but every once in a while he watches my channel and will comment and he'll probably let me know that I went a little too thick on it um, but he does really good with his work really good uh, but to me honestly I think it's turning out really nice that's got a lot of good, <laughs> awesome grain in it. And it's still, the, you know, it's still runny. It's not a syrup, but, all right, I'm just turn this way down here. Maybe 50 RPM to get it to spin nice and slow and get the rest of this. The only thing about the chip brushes is you got to go back over and look and see if there's any hairs being left behind. And I definitely made way too much of this stuff. It don't take a lot. I'm just going to get off a little bit of this excess so I can see there is some. And then after this is all dried up, I'll sand it back down and get a nice fine sand on it. And put a, another coat of the food safe epoxy on it, nice thin coat and then sand it down very fine to let it keep this beautiful beautiful shine because this grain is just crazy we're back we're sanded uh, I used 600 and did a wet sand the inside is what really needed it um, more so than the outside and I went pretty far down on the inside the outside really didn't look like it needed much so I used a thousand grit on it so let's go ahead and we're going to put a thin coat on again 
and then see if we need a final. Let's get this slowed down. And since I took it out of the chuck, you'll see that it's got a uh, kind of a ripple on it. Or off center, I should say. And that's just because of the uh, the chuck. And the good thing is, is we're not doing any cutting. So all this is just putting on a nice finish. And again, this is a food safe finish. because I want this to be used. I may start doing this to all of my cups, the really nice, nice ones, because it looks beautiful, and I think it's gonna make it a little bit more durable. Durable. pretty solid all the way around so we'll leave it spinning for a couple probably about an hour or two and then uh, hopefully it'll be solid like uh, cured enough there we go proper wordology cured enough to take it off the light so bring y'all back when we're done <laughs> 